The 90 Day Fiancé franchise features an array of fan-favorite faces and loathed personalities, and viewers have no problem calling out the cast members who do behave badly. While rare franchise relationships feature couples who share mutual respect, it's much more common to see couples with uneven power dynamics. Discover which 90 Day Fiancé franchise cast members are accused of belittling their partners and consistently talking down to them on camera. There are so many valid reasons why cast members have been described as belittling and demeaning people. In some cases, cultural differences among 90 Day Fiancé couples spark a host of unique relationship issues. Cultural differences in language barriers can cause some cast members to think they are superior to their partners. Such factors can lead them to talk down to their love interests. However, there are other more universal reasons why cast members talk down to their partners, to the dismay of viewers. There are numerous personalities in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise who have been called out for their shady traits, including inflated egos and apparent narcissism. Some cast members simply believe that they are better than their partners, and this makes them a little too pompous with their significant others. Since franchise fans gravitate towards the more genuine and grounded couples, the 90DF celebs who talk down to those around them often earn cold receptions from fans. Find out which cast members have been accused of having belittling attitudes with their partners. Tiffany Franco Smith. Tiffany Franco Smith was on her worst behavior during 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After? Season 6. American Tiffany made it clear that she thought she was superior to her South African husband Ronald Smith, as she declared that she would never move to South Africa. Tiffany spent her visit critiquing everything in Ronald's life, from his lack of a job to his home to his food choices and parenting skills. Furthermore, the mother of two dragged Ronald on camera and consistently brought up his criminal past. Tiffany's ego led her to believe that she was too good for Ronald, but viewers painted the mother as a franchise villain for her bad attitude. Tom Brooks and Jesse Meester. American twin Darcy Silva experienced constant belittling from not one but two of her love interests on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days. First, Darcy dealt with the younger Dutchman, Jesse Meester. Jesse clearly thought he was superior to Darcy, as he consistently spoke down to her and behaved passive aggressively, to the annoyance of viewers. Next, Darcy dealt with the attitude of British man Tom Brooks. Like Jesse, Tom appeared to have a massive superiority complex. Tom was both stuck up and casually cruel, such as when he asked insecure Darcy if she had gained weight. Overall, Darcy is notorious for her bad taste in men. She seems to choose the same type of guy over and over again, even though she should know better. Natalie Mortabziva. Like Tiffany, Natalie Mortabziva is a franchise cast member who believed that she was better than her partner. Unsurprisingly, both couples have since split, as Natalie and her husband Mike Youngquist are currently over. While Mike was called out for his own bad behavior, Natalie consistently belittled the American. The Ukrainian woman believed that she was superior to her partner in all ways and wasn't shy about expressing her ego. Natalie asserted that she was smarter and better looking than Mike, as she frequently praised herself at his expense. Natalie was so critical that viewers were confused as to why she wanted to stay with Mike and make their relationship work. Big Ed Brown. Big Ed Brown has been put on blast by viewers ever since his romance with young single mother Rose Vega aired on Before the 90 Days. 
Despite his age and looks, Big Ed took it upon himself to constantly point out Rose's flaws. The American insulted Rose for her body hair and bad breath due to an untreated ulcer. Big Ed also called out Rose for her impoverished living situation, since his San Diego home was far nicer. 90 Day Fiancé fans were furious with Big Ed for criticizing Rose and were confused as to where he got his snobby attitude from. Evelyn Villegas. When it comes to talking down to one's partner, few franchise faces have been as critical as Evelyn Villegas. The 90 Day Fiancé. The other way cast member has been consistently called out for the way she demeans her husband, Corey Rathjaber. In fact, some viewers have even speculated that Corey must enjoy being humiliated since he remains with someone who so often publicly ridicules and insults him. Evelyn isn't shy about pointing out Corey's weak spots and dragging him online or on camera. It's clear that Evelyn believes she is too good for Corey, as evidenced by her reluctance to marry him. Paul Stell. Evelyn isn't shy about sharing Corey's personal information, while notorious franchise cast member Paul Stell will sink very low to humiliate his wife, Kareen. Paul and Kareen have a deeply unhealthy marriage, which has featured many troubling allegations. A recent disturbing video of Kareen assaulting Paul in front of their son surfaced and upset 90DF fans. However, it is more often Paul who starts drama by insulting Kareen and saying mean things about her. Paul has shared many shocking things about Kareen while shamelessly putting her on blast. His insults and revelations have included allegations that Kareen fathered their sons with other men. 90 Day Fiancé fans are shocked by how often Paul demeans his wife. Even Clegg. Like her, the other way co stars Evelyn and Tiffany, Devin Clegg is considered a prime example of a belittling franchise wife. Devin's estranged Korean husband Jehun Lee might have been a deadbeat, but that didn't mean that he deserved the harsh treatment that he got from Devin. She and her equally villainous mother Alicia constantly talked down to and insulted Jehoon. Meanwhile, Devin is notorious for blaming all of her problems on him. She has earned plenty of flack from 90 Day Fiancé fans for never taking accountability for her life and constantly using Jehoon as a scapegoat.